Well, well, well. How's it going, everybody? Joshua Perry here on YouTube's favorite underground climbing channel. What are you doing a t-shirt, Josh? And what the hell are you sitting in? Well, well uh, one heck of a story to tell you. Where do I begin? A couple, few, few, more than a few episodes ago, I said I want to do a travel trailer and uh, RV or conversion, some kind of van conversion uh, comparison video. Problem is I had nothing to compare it to. I used to have, where, where to start? I used to have a 19 foot travel trailer and uh, I have a wife and eventually had kids. So the 19 foot travel trailer shrunk up real quick. So I needed to find some options to find something that will fit us in. So I sold the travel trailer. It was a good travel trailer. Woo! Look at this. This is a window. This is a window right there. What? So now I'm in the market for something. What am I gonna what am I gonna get in? What am I gonna get? And uh, down the rabbit hole I went. I found I found giant army trucks with giant huge 500 pound wheels, and I thought I could buy that and convert it, and it'd be amazing. Six wheel drive. It's called a Hemet. I thought I could do that, and then I figured that's completely impractical. Maybe if I was Mr. Beast or something, I could make that work, but I'm not. So <laughs> time to find something else. Down the rabbit hole I went. And I looked at motorhomes. Motorhomes, base motorhomes are like $100,000. I am about that life, okay? I, I am not trying to get into debt, all right? My life goal is to not be in debt. I make money, I buy something, all right? So my price tag is about $30,000. I ain't spending $100,000 on nothing. Along came this thing when I, that I, on my searching. This is a... 1978 GMC motorhome. These things were built from 1973 to 78. And search up some videos on YouTube about it, the history of these things. They were so amazingly engineered, aluminum and fiberglass built, still, this, this thing's 40 years old, still running strong, beautifully. But that didn't mean I want to buy one, just because it was awesome. So I had to look at some. I, I, I was, I'm up in New Jersey, I looked at one in New Jersey, Thirty thousand dollars. I was like, "That's got to be a great one," and I looked at it. It just wasn't enough bang for my buck for thirty thousand dollars. So I looked some more, and I found out Florida has two different places that I found that just all they do is work on these things. This one guy that I found uh, later, I'll tell you later in the story about that. But uh, anyway, we all hopped on a plane, flew to Florida. I found one for sale from a personal private owner, and uh, he, he wanted seventeen thousand for it. When I went to go look at it, it was basically just an engine and wheels. He said he did the brakes, belts, and you know that's about it. And he wanted seventeen thousand. He wanted me to make him an offer. I never made him an offer because once I saw it, I don't know if I have some pictures to show you, but you walk in there and you could just see the ground through the floor. Too big of a project for me. I thought, hey, maybe this might be a good idea for my for my YouTube channel to to build this RV and restore it back. But man, that was just such a project. I thought, I I don't need. I want to be. Why am I buying one of these anyway? That's a good question. Well, I travel for work during the summer months, and I figure in the winter, we I could buy this thing and go climbing with you guys. And I thought this would be great for the channel. You know, go out and climb, and you could also restore it, watch me restore this thing. So I thought this was a great project. And then uh, that was just too much of a project. Down the rabbit hole, I went some more, and I found this guy. I call, it's, it's, his place is called Alex Serum uh, GMC Motorhome. And he's close to, eh, he's kind of close to, eh, he's maybe an hour or two or something from, from Orlando. So <laughs> I went over there. Awesome guy. He's the son of the original owner, so they've been just working on these things since they came out. Knows every single little detail about it. They got some sale on for sale over there. So I take a look at that. I take a look at some of those. If you want the just the overview of this thing without all the little details, this is just kind of the story time of this. But I'll, I'll give you guys a little walk around it. If you want to just skip to that, I'll leave a timestamp. But I want to let you know what my mindset was, and maybe I want to let myself know what my mindset was in the future when I go watch this video. But uh, yeah, I ended up looking at some of uh, some that they have they have on his lot, which he has a 
a oh, ton on his lot. They're just like shells. I guess he uses for parts, which was super cool. It was super educational to be able to get into there and see how they're built, how they're constructed, what the face frame is like, where the parts go, how the electric is run, and everything else, which was awesome. If you ever want to get one of these, go somewhere like that, and you can see that will help you out a lot. I took some video of those thing, of, of things so I know what the guts are like of this. So I didn't know if I was completely ready for something 40 years old. But what I found out is that this thing is like a rights to repair dream. This guy who owned this particular one was a, he just retired aviation pilot for I think maybe Continental Airlines or Delta or something. And this guy kept records like crazy i mean he's got all these books of exactly what he did all the logs and all the receipts of what he put into this thing he put sixty seven thousand dollars into this thing so it was worth a pretty penny but he's retired very well off my budget's only thirty thousand his wife i mean all the cutlery in here is name brand cutlery i'll, I'll give you guys the showdown on that i made the guy the offer Reluctantly, <laughs> reluctantly, he said yes because he wants to just get rid of this thing. He could, he has planes. He can fly where he wants to go. Why does he need to take this thing? Just wants to get rid of it. So I got really lucky, made him an offer, and took it. Now here I am. I got this thing. I'm, I'm, I'm in a GMC. I'm in a GMC motorhome. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... So uh, I just another word of warning is uh, the, a couple things I saw while at uh, that place is that this one guy's GMC motorhome blew up while I was there. Not while I was there, but while I was going back and forth. I got to see the aftermath. The 90-year-old guy, guy inside left his propane on, didn't smell it for some reason. Maybe he's 90 years old. His sense of smell is gone. The guy's fridge, tick, tick, tick clicked on and the thing blew up the windshield flew out the back windshield blew up guys get lp sensors get air monitor sensors you got to get sensors in these things you don't have sensors and stuff like this get one okay so uh i guess i'll give you I, that's how i'm in i'm in this thing i'm in a gmc motorhome here i am <laughs> i took the plunge uh i'm driving this thing i don't know what to tell you here <laughs> here's Here's the, uh, I'll give you guys a quick tour. So there's the cab, okay. This guy left a Garmin thing in here. This is, this motor down in here is a 403 Olds, or it could be a 455, I actually have to double check. But now it's usually um, carb, naturally, car it's carbureted. I need alert. I'm very mechanically, a sound individual <laughs> but when it comes to motors I have a lot to learn which is another reason why I decided this would be a great learning project for me to learn all these things why this does that and what does that and blah 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 so anyway this thing's now fuel injected it used to be carbureted that's what I was trying to say now it's fuel injected so that's there used to be no computers in here besides like the fridge but now there's a computer in here and it's a fuel injected besides that there's not really anything else this is a couch which also turns in to a bunk bed let me show you that real quick put you down here everybody drives by they all take pictures of this thing this guy's coming out right now with the, with the camera so turn that around okay Boom, seat belts. I'm only gonna do one, cause I gotta take this back down. Just clicks in here with a seat belt, bam. So now we have a bunk bed here. So that sleeps there. Now this over here also folds down. I got the kids in car seats over here. Let me turn this around. Got the kids in car seats in here, boom, boom. That thing comes down, turns into a and that thing comes down and then this becomes a bed. Maybe I have a short clip of that somewhere from earlier take. I've been trying to film this video five times already, but life keeps getting in the way. Just go like, <sighs> right. Not too used to that yet. All right, bam. Then this one does the same thing and then bam, this is a bed. Insta sleep. 
Yeah, yeah. Not too good at working that yet. Table goes here, connects to here. This also becomes a dinette. TV here. Uh, yeah, that didn't used to be here, but now he's got a TV here. This is some kind of conduction stove. It never gets hot. Only the pot gets hot. This thing, it does everything. It's not just a microwave, but that thing start, it like shakes around while I drive, so I have to fix that. I don't know what this is, what material this is. He, they told me. I forgot. Sinks in there. Boom. So you go down here some more. This is a full-size bed in the back. And right now, it's just all the junk because I got to clean this bed and all the sheets and all the stuff that was in there. I'm just going to give you a quick tour. And then in here, oh, turn around. And here is a wet bath, bathroom, shower, sink, and me. Hey, what's going on? And then over here is a closet. There's a closet in here. And in there, there's an air pump and the fuses and stuff. Let me see if I can get that real quick. So there's a fuse box, battery monitor machine thing. And then over here, this is your air pump. Can you see the air pump? I don't know if you can see the air pump. GMC, it's an air pump. Why do you need an air pump? Okay, well, let's go outside and get a look at this thing real quick. This thing's like a this thing's like an airplane. That's probably why that guy bought this thing in the first place. <sighs> Gotta, can't forget to do that. Welcome. Okay. Six, six wheels. Six wheels. Back here, it's on airbags. This thing runs on airbags. It's got this dual airbag system. That's the fridge. That's a heater. So yeah, this thing needs, basically what it needs is a good paint job. Maybe if we get this, I'll do some kind of Patreon thing and maybe we could get this thing wrapped. I know you guys like to see these restoration projects. Maybe we could get this thing restored. You guys are excited about that. Gotta jump over this puddle. There you go. It's got something on top to store things. This whole thing really just needs a paint job. Other than that, it's completely mechanically sound. You really have to thank the owner for, for being willing to let it go for what he did. I mean, I mean that's the, that's a tour. So, the GMC Motorhome coming to a climb near you. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I want to get out there and do some climbs with you. Drive this thing across the country, wherever. I'm ready to do it. I think this thing's ready to do it size maybe it's to paint but that's it back go back to my chair oh I forgot to mention one thing does this thing have a name did we name it yet it feels kind of like a boat so I feel like it, it, it kind of deserves a name uh, I'm not too sure on the name yet but I did come up with something pretty cool the guy the, the previous owner of this his last name was roots so a root uh, so I thought it'd be pretty cool to name this thing No Roots, which is pretty funny. In honor of the last owner, I think that's pretty cool. So what do you think? What do you think about the name? Leave leave me leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this thing. Subscribe if you're excited for seeing me work on this thing and how how the you know another thing about this is the owners of these things, they have what's called a blacklist. I mean, it's almost like a cult following. Like some of the stories of what the blacklist will do. You, look, you have a map of all the owners. There were 12,000 of these made. There's only 12,000 of these made, and there's still 8,000 something of them still on the road today. And the owners just cherish these things. I mean, they've done everything. They've extended them. They've made them longer, cut them, make them longer, make th make it make those extenders extend out. I mean, you could just you name it. They've done it, and they'll they'll you, you like go on that map. You give one of them a call. They'll come out and they'll meet you. There's this one story, if I could find it. This guy had an engine problem. The guy helped him get the thing towed over to somewhere, helped him get a new engine, a new transmission in the thing, and off they went. So, I mean, it's kind of, that's another reason that I, I felt better about buying one of these is that you get 
this community and that's that's what I'm all about I'm all, my channel is all about community the climbing community helping everybody out I want people to know that or at least think or feel that this channel is about helping the climbing community and that's why I have a discord check out the discord and I try to be I try to be super accessible for everybody so uh, that's about it Joshua Perry Climbing out of here. <laughs> Driving out of here. Uh, climbing out of here sounds better.